So what I want to show you is how to build a basic slate, which is what you'll put at the beginning of your demo reel. It's your contact information and very often an image and contact information. I like to put an image on there, a picture, because then people can see what you look like, especially if it's for a reporter demo reel. But even if it's a reporter or videographer oriented demo reel, it's nice to have your image on there and then put contact information next to it. This can be whatever you'd like. You can put a phone number, just an email. LinkedIn link, however you want to do it, but certainly your name and one way to get in touch with you. So let me walk through this in Premiere. It's pretty simple and you can do this 10 different ways. I'm going to show you a basic way to do it. The first thing I want you to do is I'm going to bring in a still photo. I have a few different portraits of myself down here that I've already imported and I've got a timeline. Here's the catch. If I create Premiere and the first thing I do is I haven't even created a sequence yet. I don't have this set up. I've just started Premiere. I bring in pictures and I bring over a still photo. Look at all of these. They're all pretty vertical images, which is actually good for a slate because I'm going to have a picture on one side and then contact information and my name on the other side. So I do want vertical. But if I just drag that over, it's going to create a sequence. It's going to actually set the settings for Premiere to match that picture. So I always want to create a sequence first and set it to HD widescreen video because your demo reel video is all going to be HD horizontal video. It's all going to be your stories from the newscast. So first thing you want to do is create a sequence. So I'm going to do file new sequence and I can keep the default settings. Anything that's 1080p HD, uh, anything you see that's 1080 pixels, 1080 is going to be HD video. And so I'm just going to use the default setting. I'll call this one slate. Uh, and I'm just going to hit OK, and it's going to create this sequence for me. You see down here several sequences lined up. It starts with one over here, and then I just created this one. Call it whatever you want. I call it Slate 2. Nobody's ever going to see the name of the sequence. So now I've got an HD, um, an HD sequence, an HD frame set up. So as I drag things over here, it's going to be HD widescreen format, and that won't change. So now I'm going to bring a picture over here. Let me drag one over to the timeline couple things. So let me zoom in on it. It only put the picture to, uh, it's only on there for four seconds. The beauty of any time you're working with still imagery, a still picture, text that you add, a graphical element like a shape, anytime you put something like that in there that's a still, it's this easy to make it longer or shorter. I'm just going to grab the right edge and drag it. Now it's 10 seconds long. If I want it to be three seconds long, I could drag the right edge and make it narrower and, uh, and make it shorter. So I'm just gonna drag it out here. It's about 10 seconds, I'll adjust it later. Another thing is if you look down here, you see that image, my head is not cut off, but on the timeline, my head is cut off. Second thing I wanna do is I wanna resize it so my head isn't cut off and I want it off to the side of the screen. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna resize it and I'm gonna move it to the left. So down here, I'm gonna click on the picture, double click on it, actually click on it once, I take that back. Let me click on the picture and make sure my timeline is somewhere over that picture so that as I make edits, I can see them happen up here in the uh, preview. And then upper left, I'm gonna go to effect controls. So I'm gonna click effect controls. I've selected the picture. I've parked my timeline over that picture so I can see the changes. And I'm gonna open up motion over here. There's a little motion tab under effect controls and and it's going to show me some options. Now what I want, the first thing I want to do is scale it down. So I'm going to hover over this 100. And this is a trick I do all the time in Premiere. I could click here and just type in a value. I could tick, click 100 and type 80. And that kind of works. It's a little small. I can also, by the way, now resize it with these, uh, these controls that are on the screen. So that's probably the easiest, most elegant way to do it. But what I tend to do is this. I've got the 100 over here. I'm going to click and drag on the 100. I'm going to click and hold and drag left and I can actually resize it kind of on the fly. So I can actually drag my finger and resize it the way I want to. So that's usually how I use these controls in Premiere. The other thing I want to do is I want to move it left. So the easiest way to move it left is I'm going to change one of these positions. The two positions are X, which is horizontal and Y, which is vertical. So if I click the 960, again, I'm gonna click this left position one, which is for X axis horizontal. It's gonna click and drag it left, make it a smaller number. And it's gonna move the picture left. So let me get this all the way over to the left edge and I can put text over here. Now, a couple things. If you wanted more space for text, you could actually crop this and there's a cropping tool. So let me show you how to do that. If you go down here to the bottom left where your, your uh, images are, you've got these different choices, media browser, libraries, info. 
uh, if you click on this first one, which is the title of my project, you'll see the videos and pictures you've imported. I'm going to click this, this little menu icon. There's a little double carrot down here to the left. Let me click there. And one of the options is effects. This is where we go to get transitional effects, like dissolves the, the color flash I often use uh, for edits in the newscast. You can make audio adjustments down here. So transitions, all that stuff's under effects. I'm going to click effects and under video effects. I'm going to scroll down to transform and inside transform is an option called crop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this crop and drag it over onto my image. And let me show you where that was again real quick. I went to effects over here. I clicked and found effects. And then I went to video effects, scroll down to transform. And under transform, you'll find, oops, that's transition, transform crop. And what I'm going to do is anytime you use any of these effects, you click and drag it onto the audio or video clip you want to alter. In this case, it's video. I'm going to click crop and drag it onto this. So I've just clicked crop and put it on my picture. And you see over here under effect controls, a whole bunch of new stuff opened up. So here's how I'm going to crop it. A couple of different ways I can do it. Crop is open. What I just want to do is change that right edge. So I'm going to bring in the right edge. So I have a little more room for text over here. So I'm going to click and drag again on this double zero next to right, the word right. So I'm just going to click here and drag that right edge in. Now there's another cool thing in crop that I really like. I've given myself more room over here for text. Wouldn't it be nice if this was a soft edge uh, instead of a hard edge? I can do that. That's what edge feather does. So I'm going to go to edge feather, click and drag. And again, you can click there and type in numbers, but I like to click and just drag my finger and I can make adjustments on the fly. I'm going to give that a soft edge. I'm just going to feather it a little bit. And in fact, I'm going to crop it in a little more from the right just to give me a little more room for text. So there's my image. I've got my image placed. I resized it. I dragged it to the left. I gave it a soft feathered edge crop. I've got plenty of room for text. Now I'm going to add text. Text is pretty easy. I'm going to click T down here in the toolbar. So here's the select tool. Here's the uh, cut tool, the razor blade that we've been using for editing. I'm going to go down here to the letter T, click T, go up here and click on the screen and start typing. So I'll put my name first and I could just hit return and put my email. I'm not going to do that. I'll show you why in a sec. My email is going to be a lot longer than my name. So what I'm going to do is oops, I'm going to click text and put a second box down here for my email address. And the reason is I think it might go off the screen. It's going to be close, but I'll try to resize it, reposition it. And what this does is I now have two texts. So if you look over here in effect controls, I have text and it actually shows there's my email and there's my name. So it shows up over here as two things instead of one. Again, it's an option for me to just go up to this one and I can just hit return and put my email right under it. You can totally do that. I'm going to do it as two just to complicate things a little bit. But um, let me go back to the select tool. Uh, since I'm on T, every time I click up here, it starts to add a new text box. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to select on the uh, toolbar. And now I have my two texts here. Now I want to alter these. I don't love that uh, text. I've got a typo in this one that I need to fix anyway. So let me see if I can get at that. All right, there's my typo fixed. Uh, I don't like that typeface. I may want to change the color. I may want to add a little shadow. I uh, might want to resize them. So, but I've got my texts over here and that's the, the start. So let me do this. I'm going to open this one. You can just click on that one. You can click on this one and open it up. And I'm going to double click and highlight all of it. Let me double click on this one and select all of it. So it's all selected. And now I'm going to go change the typeface. So let me go over here and open this pull down on the right. If you don't see it here to the right, I could go over here and do the pull down and I get the same things over here. So I can go to courier on the left or on the right, either one, but let me change it. It previews some of the, the text. Comic Sans might be fun. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna use that because it reflects my personality. Let's do Common Sans, Comic Sans. And I'm gonna add a shadow to it, a subtle one. I'm gonna click the shadow box over here. Again, this is the, the one that's my email. I'm gonna click shadow and then I'll click here and select a color maybe like a darkish Texas state maroon kind of shadow. And I can alter this right now. It's got a lot of transparency to it. That's what this, this slider is. The shadow is like really transparent. 
so I can actually reduce or increase the transparency. It previews right here in the box, by the way. So a lower number is more transparent, a higher number is less. I'm gonna push it up high and then we'll take a look over here. So there's my shadow. It's kind of subtle, but that's okay. Uh, so I've got white text, I changed it to Comic Sans. I'm gonna go up to this one and do the same thing. So I'll double click on it to highlight all of it. And then I wanna add that same shadow. So uh, on this one, same thing, I can click on, oops. I can click on shadow, go select the color in this box. Again, you can do this to the right or the left. I'm gonna take the transparency. Oops, anytime you change colors, you have to click okay. To take the transparency to almost uh, no transparency, and there we go. So now I wanna move this over to the left a little bit and move this one down. In fact, I may try to balance these so they're sort of in the middle of my picture. So let me move this one first. I'm gonna close that text part. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna scroll down. So, so the first part of text, when I open this pull down over here in uh, effect controls, I'm, I'm on the one that's my email. So I'm gonna pull that one down. This is where I can select the color, select the shadow, uh, change the transparency of the shadow. Now what I'm gonna do is scroll down and we get, one of the options you get farther down is position. So here's where I can resize it. So I can make it a little bit bigger to kind of fill the screen. We'll call it 115. And what I'm gonna do is remember that number because I'm gonna make my name also 115, maybe even bigger. And I wanna lower this, I wanna make it lower. So what I'm gonna do is drag it down on a Y axis. So the second number in position is vertical, the Y axis, the first number to the left Again, is x-axis horizontal. I'm gonna click here, drag to the right, just kind of push it down. Then I'm gonna go back up, close that one. I'm gonna open the text Kelly Caulfield one and then scroll down. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna make this one a little bigger. So 115 is the size of my email. I'm gonna make this one like 120. And then I wanna bring it down to kind of balance it next to the picture. And then I wanna, I think, justify it left to align it with my email. I could also center it over here, again, just by clicking and dragging the left number, the X number, and there we go. I've got a basic slate. Now, if you notice on the timeline, the text is not the same size as my picture. I'm just gonna go to the left edge down here on the timeline. I'm gonna click the left edge and drag the text left, drag the text right, and now we've got them matching up. So now they're the same. There's an email address, my name, and a picture of me. If you want, we might want to fade this to black at the end right before we go to your your video. So I'm going to click near the end of this and zoom in a little bit. And then on the video slider to the right, I'm going to magnify that a little bit. I'm just going to drag till I can zoom and see these lines. So see the two white lines there. I'm going to alter these. I'm going to use the pen tool, the fountain pen tool, which is over here on the toolbar. You can also type the letter P and I'm going to Put a couple of dots on that line and drag the right one down and i'm going to do the same thing over here you may have done this with audio if we do this with video it's going to fade to black so watch it's going to get to that and fade to black and so now i've got my slate uh, i could even fade it in at the beginning but there's my slate at the end it fades to black and right here i can start putting my stand-ups my best stories and putting those items on my demo reel